Good morning and welcome to this week's family section. We hope that you've had a great week. It is so lovely to have you with us today. Let's kick off our morning with another festive cracker joke. What do you call a three-legged donkey? Oh, a monkey. <laughs> What's the best thing to put into a Christmas cake? Your teeth. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you call a cat in the desert? I don't know. Sandy claws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love a good cracker joke. Right, shall we see what's in the news for this week? Good idea. To good news. Our first good news story of this week is the story of a couple who were reunited with their wedding album which had been missing for 20 years. A lady from Plymouth found the album and took to social media to share the album far and wide with the hopes of returning it with its rightful owners. After over 8,000 shares on Facebook, the couple were tracked down and said, this is the best gift anyone could have given us. How amazing. We also have reports of more strange sightings, this time by some shepherds. Let's head to our reporter on the field now and find out more. Hello everyone. Today's story is both strange and exciting. Some shepherds were in the fields nearby, watching their flocks, when all of a sudden they saw an angel standing before them, and the place they were sitting lit up, so they felt frightened. Then the angel said to them, Don't be afraid, because I'm bringing you some good news. It will be a joy to all people. Today your Saviour was born in David's time. He is Christ the Lord. And this is how you will know him. You will find him wrapped in cloths and lying in a feeding box. Then a very large group of angels joined the angel and they were all singing and praising God saying, give glory to God in heaven and on earth, let there be peace to the people who please God. Then the angels left the shepherds and went back to heaven. The shepherds said to each other, let us go to Bethlehem. Let us see this thing that has happened. We will see this thing the Lord has told us about. Have you ever received a gift? that you really weren't expecting. I'll let you think about that for a moment. The saying goes, red sky at night, shepherds delight. But for these shepherds, it was more like angels in the night gave them a fright. I think it's safe to say that as these shepherds watched their flocks that night, a crowd of singing angels was really not what they were expecting. I think that the birth of Jesus came as a surprise to many at the time. But at least Mary and Joseph had a few months to get used to the news. The wise men too, they'd travelled a long distance from when they first saw the star, and so in all the time it took them to journey, they must have been quite excited at the anticipation of finally meeting this new king. The shepherds, however, really had no idea at all. For them it was just another night, I guess, very similar to the night before and the night before that, until suddenly everything changed. I think this year we've, we've all experienced the unexpected, some good, some bad, lots of last minute changes and altered plans. The shepherds thought it would just be another night out in the fields for them, and yet suddenly, quite unexpectedly, they got the news of the best gift ever. 
God had come to be with his people. And those shepherds not only got to hear about the good news, but to receive the good news, to actually meet Jesus. So, what have you received that you really weren't expecting? This Christmas may well be different from other Christmases. Maybe we won't get to see as many family or friends this year. Maybe you'll get the gifts you really wanted. Maybe you'll get something different. Or maybe you'll get something you really weren't expecting. Whatever your Christmas is like this year, and whatever you get, remember the greatest gift of all. Emmanuel, God with us. Always, everywhere, at all times. In a world that can be so uncertain, he is the same yesterday, today, and will be forever. No matter what, no matter who we are or where we go or what we go through, God is with us and for us. And we can not only hear about this amazing news, but we can meet Jesus too. We can meet him in the stories of the Bible. We can meet him in prayer. We can meet him in worship and have him with us through his Holy Spirit. Always, everywhere, for life, not just for Christmas. Thanks for that, Steve. It's a great thought for us to reflect on this week. I think it's about time for this week's challenge. Mm. So, shall we see what this week has in store? Indeed. For this week's challenge, we are going to turn ourselves into reindeer. Did you get the hint? Little jingles, little jingles. So, for this challenge, we are going to need to inflate six balloons, three for each antler, fill them into the tights, and it's the first person to get it on the head with their little antlers. Ready? Steady, go! For this craft activity, you will need a piece of paper, a pen and a pencil, scissors, glue, a tube, paint and a paintbrush. First, paint your tube. Once completed, leave to dry. Here's one I made earlier. Next, draw a face onto one side of the tube. Next. Draw around your hands. Now cut them out using the scissors. You may need an adult to help you. Next, stick your hands to the back of the tube using the glue. Here is your angel. You can stick it on top of your Christmas tree if you like. 
Thanks for that. We hope that you enjoy making this week's Christmas craft. If you take a photo of any of the crafts that you're going to do, send them in and we'll have a good look. I'm so thankful I'm able to spend this festive time of year with my family, friends, community and church. As we all know, Christmas will be a little different this year. Let's not forget the true meaning. Every year I walk into my nan's house, smelling the candles. Opening the presents! But especially spreading the love and joy of, of Christmas. Christmas. I think that Christmas is all about giving to the less fortunate. Remembering the peace in the world, spreading happiness and joy to everyone around you. And don't forget having a yummy Christmas dinner. But let's never forget the true meaning of Christmas, Jesus. He is the reason for Christmas Day. He is the reason that this world began. We're so lucky to have him in our life as a church. And if Jesus weren't here, I don't think anyone would like to live in this world. Jesus has set peace. But also, let's never forget to grab our Christmas jumpers and have a very Merry Christmas with our family. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone! Bye! Thank you for joining us for the second part of our Christmas family special. We look forward to seeing you next week. Bye! Bye! Hi! Hi! Hi. <laughs> For this week's craft, we are going to make ourselves into. It's not craft. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!